Good morning, everyone. Welcome to today's realistic grocery haul. What do I mean by that? Today's grocery haul is going to be all about what a grocery haul looks like when not everybody in your household eats the same food. And that can be challenging if you're like me and you're eating low carb and no one else is, or maybe you're on Weight Watchers or you're counting calories and no one else is doing that. What do you do? What does it look like? So so I want to start by telling you, actually, I need to get that We're out of there. Oh my gosh. Um, <laughs> reason 455,000 that I like shopping at Trader Joe's. So let me tell you what happened. This today is going to be Walmart and Trader Joe's, but I was at Trader Joe's. I was feeling down. I had a couple things that went wrong today that bothered me, and I didn't feel like I handled them as as good as I should have. And so I was feeling kind of down, beaten up on myself. And so the cashier said at Trader Joe's, how's your day going? And I said, you know, I'm just going to be honest with you. It, it could be better. It's not going that good. And you know what? He grabbed me a thing of flowers and said, I hope that improves your day. They do things that just, it's such a pleasure to shop there. So if you have one near you, it's just a good experience. All right. All of that said, let's jump into our very realistic grocery haul. So we're going to start in the danger zone over here. I love these. They are so good. They are not low carb, low sugar, low point, low anything. So let me tell you why I have them on hand. First of all, Paige loves them and they work in her life. But if I take one of these and I cut this little tiny sheet cake into 12 pieces, I can make that work to have one or even two in the week. Now, remember, I said 12 pieces, and that is very, very small. You're talking about maybe two bites of something. So if I really want it, I can do that. But the other thing is, I'm just old school. I have people over a lot. I have family over a lot. And I like to have these things. I just do. I like to have a piece of cake I can give somebody. So I picked those up from Trader Joe's. I also picked up the creamy tomato basil pasta sauce. I really like it. It's like a vodka sauce. Six grams of carbs for a half cup, which is really, really good. Then I also picked up a can of Great Northern Beans. So what I'm going to do with this, a half a can of the beans, or which is about maybe a half a cup, something like that. And I'm going to do them in a pan with onions, spinach, and a quarter cup of this. Perfect. That sounded so, so good to me. Now, for me, these are higher in carbs, but they're also loaded with fiber. So in my world, me personally, I don't count that in carbs because I personally do not have a problem with overeating beans. I never will. So I eat it exactly the way that I told you. I also picked up the polo asado chicken. This is an absolute go-to for me. It's so easy. It's already completely marinated and it's so so good so you've got four grams of carbs for one serving which is four ounces you get three chicken breasts in here so this will feed my family it's really really good now i will say it is a tiny bit spicy so if you don't like spicy you might not love that but it's and when i say a tiny bit i mean it's very mildly spicy i also picked up two things of sweet potato fries because we eat the heck out of these they're so, so good. I do them in the air fryer. 19 grams of carbs for 14 fries. Delish. And I also grabbed the falafels, the fully cooked falafels. These are so, so, so good. Again, in the air fryer. Four of them is 26 carbs. So for me, that's a really good lunch with some garlic aioli mustard to dip these in and a salad on the side. So good. And I also grabbed a few different types of yogurt. Every now and again, I like to do that. I utilize Greek nonfat yogurt all the time. So when I want something a little more special or a treat, I get something different. So this is the Icelandic style. I think it's pronounced skier, but I really don't know on that. <laughs> it might be skier, but I think it's skier. You guys let me know in comments. 12 grams of carbs for the container. And I also got two things of the black raspberry Greek non-fat. That is 19 grams of carbs. You know, there's a lot of naturally occurring carbs in yogurt. So I'm not that worried about yogurt. This is in the snack zone for me. 
and I do just fine with it. All right, now again, things that are, you know, definitely not in my way of eating, my lifestyle. Could I work this in? Yes, I could if I wanted to, because one container is 13 grams of carbs. I don't know what this is on Weight Watchers. I'm gonna guess five, but you'll be seeing it on the screen. But I bet you could work it in. It might be higher, I don't know. But I bet you could work it in there too. But see, for me, for a dessert, 15 carbs is what I shoot for. So is 19 gonna break the bank for me? No. So if I really, 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 really wanted one, I could do this. I also grabbed some liners for the air fryer. I needed Velveeta cheese to make my mushy broccoli. Three grams of carbs per serving, one quarter inch in the Velveeta. I am gonna be making, I think I'm gonna make this this weekend. Let's see, actually, can I make it this weekend? User freeze, no, I have to, so I have to do this immediately or get it in the freezer. So I'm going to do this one this weekend because I'm on a, a time stamp. This sounded good to me. I'm going to do this all day in the crock pot. I'm on to Walmart, by the way. I picked up some Diet 5 Cranberry Juice. Now, you know, I mentioned that I like to drink this with the Element Packets. You know what Element is. I talk about it on my channel pretty often. I'll link it below for you. I won't go into a whole presentation now. But if you're interested in those Element drink packets, this is what I like to drink it with, with the raspberry. It just tastes really, really good. It's like it almost turns it into a cran raspberry soda. And if you're somebody that gets restless legs or um, leg cramps, try this with the Ele you need the element because that's got you know all the electrolytes in it but this is how I like to drink it so I needed more of that what are the carbs on that uh two grams for a serving perfect I also got some v8 low sodium I've been in the mood for that nine grams of carbs for a serving of that now I'm going to make my pastina soup that is also in my new cookbook so I'm going to make that this weekend as well so I needed some celery, some onions. I got a gigantic thing of carrots because I do eat a lot of carrots, you know, throughout the month. This will last a month for sure. I don't count carbs in any of this. I understand that there are some carbs in carrots because, you know, it's sweet. Seven grams. But for me, nobody's getting fat off this, this, or this. Not happening. The problem is the cakes over there. I also picked up some of the zero net carb tortillas. These are my favorite. I like the little ones. I like them for breakfast, seven grams of carbs. I like them to put like um, a little bit of cheese and scrambled eggs in them. You could just do so much. You can turn these into little baby pizzas. I also got some taco shells. Now you might be thinking you can't have this on low carb, but actually I bought these for the kids, but 19 grams of carbs for three of them. So you could totally make that work. At least how I do low carb, my 30, 30, 30, 15 plan. These are not in my life. Pasta is really high in carbs. So these are the tri-color. The little ones love this. I don't know why, but they do. They love the tri-color. Look at that, 41 grams of carbs for a serving. It's just, for me, it's too high, can't do it. I also picked up, these are new. Robert Irvine's Fit Crunch. This is what's new. The strawberry strudel. Has anybody tried that? This got me. This was like it. the marketing triggered me. So really good macros on this for sure if you're counting macros. This is 14 grams of carbs and I'm excited to try it because I really like strawberries. So I'll let you know what I think of it. But if you've tried it, let me know that too if you liked it. I also needed some light sour cream, one gram of carbs on that. I wanted to get good culture, but I don't think Walmart carries good culture cottage cheese. I don't know. Mine doesn't anyway. So I grabbed some of that, five grams of carbs, and I got the low fat version, which is 2%. I also grabbed some strawberries. A lot of you that are newer to my channel mention that you don't see me eating fruit a lot. That is not a low carb statement for me, meaning I'm not purposely not eating fruit because I'm trying to be low carb. I don't love fruit, but I do love berries. I love strawberries. So I picked up a thing of those. The other thing is I, also, I do like fruit in 
a smoothie. <laughs> but I have to be careful with that because my blood sugar got out of whack when I was doing smoothies every day. Not anymore. I can handle them now that I've gotten everything down in the normal zone and I'm not pre-diabetic anymore. But when I was, I couldn't. So I'm kind of like putting a toe into the fruit bowl, so to speak. I grabbed some tomatoes. I don't count carbs in tomatoes. I do count carbs in strawberries, by the way, in all fruit. So this is going to be dependent on how many you eat. And I grabbed some little mini cucumbers. I love these. And some bologna. You know what I'm in the mood for? This is one gram of carbs. You're going to laugh, but I am in the mood for bologna and ketchup. I don't even need any bread. I just want some bologna and ketchup. Why? Because every now and again, the nine-year-old little girl palette re-emerges for me, and these are the things that I want. I also grabbed some more aluminum foil because I do foil pet chicken all the time, and I ran out of that. A couple more things. I got some bread. Now, remember how I told you that I do 30, 30, 30, 15. That is my plan. It's always linked below in the description box if you're curious. So I can totally work one of these little buns in, and I pop it in the air fryer. 12 grams of carbs. So depending on what I'm having with dinner, if it's really high protein or, you know, it's in my world, high protein and low carb are a little bit interchangeable. So let's say I'm, I'm having that polo asada with a salad and I have one of these. I can totally make that work. I could probably have two of these. I won't because that'll hit my blood sugar hard, but I could do one of these for sure. So I like to get them already pre-cut. That way, if it's a loaf of bread, then I might overshoot that. I also grabbed a couple things of ground beef. Now, this is higher in fat than I like, but they didn't have anything that was lower. They only had 93.7, which for me is too low. Then I don't even like it anymore. So what I'll do with this is I will brown this up for tacos, and then I'll use that little thing, you know what I'm talking about, like this, how you break up the hamburger. I'll do that in the strainer and get as much out as I possibly can, and then I'll take a paper towel and try to soak out the rest of the fat. So if I can get it to about a 90-10, I'm happy. That works for me. I don't really like 93.7, as I said. And that's, this is zero carbs. And then lastly, I needed a restock, as always, of my Green Mountain Dark Magic coffee. I've still not figured out how to utilize my pot of coffee so I don't have to keep buying these. But if you have any advice, I, listen, I am open to it. I am very, very open to it because I need to get that pot of coffee thing figured out. All right, so I'm going to get all this put away. And every time I look at these flowers, I'm going to feel so happy because that was just so nice. I'll see you tomorrow for Makeup Monday and meal prep.